Hi, how are you doing? So in today's video, I really want to talk about content moderation basics. I have had some questions coming from you about what type of job this is. So I thought why not create a video because I think this is very timely since I myself have created and built a career in the content creation industry. So I'm very familiar with what content moderation is, but we're, we're going to cover the basics. So what is content moderation? If you take a formal definition of content moderation from the internet, content moderation means the practice of monitoring and applying a predetermined set of rules and guidelines to user-generated submissions to determine if the communication is permissible or not. Content moderation is obviously not new, but I should say in the realm of the VPO industry, it is a bit new because previously a lot of employers or business owners would just outsource things like customer support um, in the telco, banking, travel industry. And when the BPO industry boomed, there are already a lot of other industries that were covered or that were um, outsourced, such as healthcare, IT, and now content moderation. And where else would companies go but the Philippines? The Philippines is considered the social media capital of the world. Um, that's based on previous year's research. I'm not sure which country now is the social media capital of the world, but if you're a Filipino, you know for sure how big the Philippines is when it comes to social media. And before we even talk about content moderation and what the job of a content moderator is, it is important for you to know what content is. For sure, if you're experienced enough, you already know what content is. But if you're new to this type of job, let me tell you what content is. It is any type of um, material or media that is uh, uploaded online, especially because we're talking about um, online content here. There, there's also offline content, uh, for example, newspapers and magazines that are not published online. But in this video, we're, we're talking specifically about online content. So any type of material that you can see online is basically content, such as blog posts published in different types of medium. It could be um, your own website or social media anywhere. It can also be videos on YouTube, like what I'm doing now. This is a video content. It can be on TikTok, Instagram, and any type of social media posts on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, everywhere. You know the drill. And without knowing it, or maybe not necessarily considering yourself as a content creator, you are actually considered one if you are creating something online. Even if you're just sharing um, photos or videos of your cats and dogs or your family on social media or on YouTube and you haven't really considered yourself a content creator, know that you are actually a content creator because you're creating these types of content and you're uploading them online. But not all people have good intentions. So you know that online or in the internet, there are a lot of things that are uploaded daily. Um, and platforms like Facebook or Instagram or even YouTube, you know, need help to make sure that all of these user generated content that are submitted online are not harmful or gruesome in any way to the community. As a big platform such as Facebook or YouTube, they have the responsibility to make sure that the community is safe from, you know, bothersome, dark, and gore content. Probably know exactly what I mean. And we need content moderators to keep the internet a safe place for the community. Let's try to go through an actual job description of a content moderator, okay? So it does say here online, the job description is understanding client policies and guidelines and making decisions based on them. So if you're a content moderator, it is very important that you know the specific rules and guidelines because that's how you will base your actions on. So for example, if you see a photo of a dancing 
naked woman or something like that? Is it in accordance to the policy of the platform? Should you be removing that? Or is that something that is actually allowed? But to some degree, you have to um, add a disclaimer that it is that it contains nudity or something like that. So it is important that you know those guidelines, uh, every specific detail so that you know, you'll be able to do your job well. It also says here, reviewing user reports regarding website content. So that's what I mentioned earlier, that any type of content submitted online, you're going to have to review them. Um, some platforms will, will just publish all of those content without review, but some, um, if it's flagged by the system, then it will go through a review system review process which will then be acted upon by human beings. I know for YouTube, it happens a lot because of course I'm a YouTuber. So I know that after the technology review of the actual video, it also, um, a lot of the videos also goes through human review, especially if it's flagged for inappropriate content. Then we also have identifying improvement opportunities in workflow and suggesting solutions. I think this is actually good because as a content moderator, you don't just do the work, but you also have the opportunity to suggest to the company or to the management how you can make your job better or how you can make the system better for everyone. Okay? In terms of qualifications, it will now depend on the company. But from what I'm seeing here, it does say bachelor's degree holder, BPO experience is an advantage, excellent English communication skills for written, excellent comprehension skills, and passion for the internet, which makes sense because you will be spending a lot of time in the internet. I know that this type of job is not new, um, and it has been considered as like a dark type of job because you will be like scouring the internet for harmful photos and videos. So just imagine what content moderators have to go through. Make no mistake. Some people would just say a content moderator job is easy, but actually it is also tough mentally and emotionally. And I guess you already know why. So as a content moderator, again, you have to make sure that all of the content are in the right places, like in the right category, make sure you remove spams, um, the, the content submitted online does not include any illegal items. And although there is already technology used to make this type of job easier, it is still crucial that companies and businesses use the judgment of a human being, especially for content that really needs critical judgment or understanding. Because as you know, technology alone can't make right decisions. We still rely on humans to make better decisions. And I think, I suppose that's a good thing to know because we still have jobs after all, and companies don't completely rely on automation and technology to do these types of jobs. So again, what does it take to be a content moderator? So as a content moderator, you have to have a good judgment, solid judgment to know what is good from bad. I think that just makes sense because that is something that differentiates you from technology. You know, a computer or an AI um, system might flag that something as bad, but in reality, you know, when a human reviews it, it's actually not bad after all, or the other way around. Like it might pass the uh, behavioral test by the computer and the computer says it's not bad, but when it comes to um, other people or a human reviewing it, it, it is extremely bad or harmful, right? So you have to have that solid judgment to determine whether it's good or bad. You also need to have a sharp eye and be able to read between the lines because obviously you'll have to determine whether that particular content should be removed from the internet or should stay. Aside from that, you also need to be trained. And I think this is where uh, most companies training would come in. And even though you have an experience in other industries, 
the company training is still crucial because again the guidelines and regulations are different for each type of company or for each type of channel or platform and to me personally the most important thing that you should possess is really a tough mental state a healthy state of mind because you never really know what you will see in the dark side of the internet it can be pretty gruesome and gory and really bothersome that you might not be able to take it if you don't have the tough stomach to review those types of photos or those types of content like in my case personally if i see something that i don't like online i would like i would you know i can't even explain <laughs> like i would definitely despise that person who posted it or who shared it um because why why would you want to share that online you know and it's really hard to remove that picture in your head especially when you go home to sleep you know it bothers you and it affects your mental health and just think about how you know how it is during the pandemic it's probably more um anxiety filled and everything that you know that can probably affect your mental health so it's not a job for the faint of heart i should say you want to start working as a content moderator then you should at least be familiar with the different online platforms facebook instagram youtube reddit TikTok, all of these popular platforms because it will be definitely so much easier for you to to get into that kind of job when you're savvy in different types of platforms and you're able to communicate in the way that the platform is communicating to their target audience and if you want to apply for this job all you have to do is really to um, google any hiring in your local area because for sure there there is one that you can apply for different companies would obviously publish their um their jobs online and you can just apply right away if you think that you are qualified to do the job and by the way if you are looking for e-commerce jobs on the other hand um, anything e-commerce related or amazon related let me just insert this that multiply me is hiring i've been working with them for over a year now so if that's your kind of thing um, stable employment 100 percent remote job opportunities i will link it in the description below and go ahead and check it out you might just find something that best fits you so thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you've learned something. Again, this is the basic content moderation. So uh, maybe if you have additional questions, then please feel free to comment below and don't forget to subscribe.